Hi, in this video I'm going to talk you through the highly flexible 4 Teams Go. I will show you all the settings so that I can help you with your configuration. Starting at general, we have the default room booking duration, 50 minutes. It's connected to the automatic room booking, so if you want to have it automatically booked, you have to enable this one and set the time. Here you can set the browser, the whiteboard or the voila receiver as default startup when you start a meeting, the reboot of the device if it's still, uh, still on, and if you want to force people to book the room in advance so that they cannot use it if they didn't book it, then you can uh, disable this one and then you force people to book the room up front. Adding app shortcuts is simple as well. Um, within our platform you can add any Windows application executable in principle that you uh, want to use during your meetings. So just a matter of add shortcuts, select the executable, press open, it will automatically be added here automatically with the icon of Teams and here you can decide I want to have this quick access so available on the left side of the screen browser of course if you don't want to use the browser you can just disable it or not allowed to use a browser within the, the company just flip the switch and the browser is disabled and here you can add your favorite shortcuts of the browser just by adding them and typing in the URL calendar the product is connected to Microsoft Exchange so whatever is booked will be shown on the screen. If you don't want to have that, don't want to use that, just disable it and you don't have the calendar anymore. But if you do use it, there's a ghost meeting killer, meaning that if someone booked the room and it's not uh, showing up, no show as we call it, then automatically you can set here a time to delete the booked meeting so that other people can make use of the room again. If you have uh, sensitive meetings, you don't want to show the meeting title, then you can automatically hide them so that nobody can see what the meeting is about. With regards to documents, that's about sharing your documents with the participants. You can either save it to USB, send it by mail or even export it to Teams, to your personal Teams. If you don't want it, just disable the USB or just the mail or uh, any of the features that are there. Even if you don't want to share anything, that's also possible. Just disable the whole document feature and you're done. Screensaver, if you don't make use of the board, in this case, for about 15 minutes, then automatically the screensaver kicks in. If you don't want that, or you want it at a later time, you can just change the minutes here or just disable the screensaver at all. Screenshots um, can be made during uh, the whiteboarding or the screen sharing, by default enabled. If you want to disable it, you can just disable it. Whiteboard as such, uh, you can disable the whiteboard in total. Within the whiteboard, you have the sticky notes. You can disable them. The active pen state, which allows you to write with a pen, move with your finger and wipe with your fist. If you disable this one, then you can also write with your finger, but then you have to select a button to move objects because then there's no difference between those two. If you want to change it as user during meeting, then you're allowed if you enable this one as well. Here you can just set the matrix of whiteboard pages. And last, wireless display. If you want to allow people to connect wirelessly to the screen, you have it enabled. If you don't want that, of course, you can disable it. And within the wireless display, you have the possibility of showing the, the SSID of your local network, as well as the guest password, so that guests connecting to your network can easily see what they need to connect to that network. Almost all these settings as shown here can also be done remote and I will show you how that works now. Fill in your details here, your account details, press next. When you're logged in with your uh, Office 365 account as used on the screen, you will see exactly the same settings. So indeed in, in the general, the room booking duration, automatic room booking, the allow to start without booking, they're all there. Uh, the only difference is the app shortcuts because that needs local access. Uh, that cannot be done remotely, but you can at least uh, change quick access or not and remove a shortcut, but not add new shortcuts. This was all about all the settings from 4 Teams Go. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more, more details, please find them on our support website, support.ctouch.eu. Thank you.